Hey guys, Dave Pangione. We're on this ad level project, this ranch conversion, and uh, we have the siding going up right now. So you'll take a look. We'll show you the, uh, the sides in the back, which we started on. And uh, we're one day into the siding, and literally three days we had the whole house sided. So I'll show you the sides in the back of the house, which we're working on right now, and tomorrow we're going to finish up the, uh, the right side in the front. All right, guys, so we're taking a look at the siding application here. You can see on, uh, on the left side, which we started on, the left side's done, and we're uh, wrapping up the back of the house. I'll show you in a minute. But uh, this is a silver gray double four uh, siding, vinyl siding. You can see we put the extra wide corners on, the, uh, on, on all the corners, and we, do the, we did the uh, beaded soffit around the, uh, all the overhangs. So I'll show you the back application, show you what that looks like. Okay, so you can see the right side of the house on this side over here, and we are installing the siding on the back. So we have this all wrapped up, and uh, we have this large addition back here, which is going to get covered. Also, we're in the process of prepping that. So we have the, uh, we removed the old siding, and what we're going to do now is we are going to install the, uh, the new siding application above it. See those nice wide corners that we install all the way around? All of our corners will get that wide six inch corner, and then we get the nice beaded soffit up top on the, uh, on the overhangs. The front corners, you can see we got a six inch smooth corner, and then uh, on all the corners, they're, they're six inch smooth. And then all the front windows, we add a three and a half inch lineal which is a wider trim that goes around all the front windows and doors. And the front portico, we're going to wrap in a white vinyl, in a white vinyl Fipon material, which is uh, maintenance free. And um, it's going to look really nice on the, uh, with the columns and the posts rather, that we, uh, the angle brackets that we made on the portico. So it's going to look really nice when it's, when it's completely done. Okay, the back of the house is completely finished now. So you can see uh, how this looks with the tie-ins from the, uh, from the uh, raised level and how we removed all the old siding and uh, installed this new application. You can see the new, we have a new vent up top there. All the wide corners, looks really nice. We end up having the uh, uh, new siding package all the way around here. This vent right here is the existing first floor bath vent that we extended. We have the side entry over here, and you can see we're wrapping up the, uh, we're finishing up the uh, upper portion of the air level. On the side, everything's really nice, tied in. We put a beaded, we put a beaded soffit all the way around the whole house. You can see the extra wide corners. There's a lot of detail here. That's a six inch wide corner. And you can see these panels right here. This is a four by eight sheet. It's a three eighths five pond. It's almost like a plastic board. And what we do is we take this board and we're gonna wrap it, uh, we're gonna cut it custom around the, uh, the brackets and the front entry, the front entry um, portico. So it's a, uh, it's a maintenance free panel and we're gonna end up putting, uh, cutting this to shape and you'll see uh, when it's all done, we use these two panels to, uh, to wrap the brackets and the front arch portico over the front door. Okay, so we're at the garage door. You can see here's the, uh, here's the three and a half inch trim. It's a vinyl trim that we put around all the front doors and windows. Some people do the whole house. And what we'll do up top is we'll miter a 45 degree angle and it looks nice next to the six inch the six inch wide corner. This is a three and a half inch vinyl trim and we put it on all the front doors and windows.
Okay, so this four by eight sheet of five pond, we're gonna measure this out and we're gonna start cutting it to fit the portico brackets on the left and the right side of the, of the portico and the face of the top of the portico right on the front there. All right, guys, so we uh, got back to the site, and uh, my siding crew finished up the siding application. Look at the front of this house. Look how nice it came out. Uh, you can see we installed the shutters, and they really, uh, really comes together with the three and a half inch trim around all the doors and windows. Uh, we wrapped the front portico with the five pond PVC. You can see how nice that looks, and uh, just looks like a whole new house. New applications, uh, it really, from the street, you can see all the, the, um, the peaks. You got the two peaks over the, the top upper roof. We have the lower uh, portico with the arch, and the arch complements the arch of the glass uh, inside the door. And uh, we also have the bay window uh, uh, roof. So you can see how nice this whole application looks. And it's just under two weeks. Uh, we like to get everything closed in on the outside. So next step, my, my uh, gutter crew will come in and install the gutters. And the outside is completely finished. So uh, at least we don't have to worry about weather. We don't have to worry about rain. And uh, now all the focus will be on the inside. And as we speak, my uh, electrical crew is on site. Shortly, my HVAC crew will be here. And uh, tomorrow, my plumbing crew will be here. So by the end of this week, all the utilities will be installed and we'll have our inspections next week and we'll be ready for insulation on on week uh, on on the third week so we'll, we'll move along quickly okay so let's take a look at this front accent portico and this is a nice little touch that we like to add onto these homes uh, you can see a lot of times the homes have an existing staircase with railings and uh, the homeowners rather than remove the railings um, what we do is we install a 45 degree angle bracket that we custom make. You can see it on the sides, it's supporting the, uh, the roof. And uh, what we'll do is we'll wrap that in a plastic PVC sheeting or five pond product. We wrap the whole front and uh, then we add the beaded soffit on the, uh, on the overhang. And you can see how nice it looks. In this case we, we made, uh, we took some uh, crown molding and installed it on the, just underneath each each uh, bracket and you can see how nice this looks just uh, it's a nice accent for the whole front of the house it really adds a little bit of character the peaks match the upper peaks you can see how nice this came out home additions add a level complete home remodeling become a subscriber you'll see all our videos shot on location in New Jersey Thanks. Click on the button right over there. Thanks. Hey guys, press the subscribe button. Thank you.